The Day You Stopped Waiting, Part 2. When is breakfast served? I'm hungry. We have no servants here. You're a grown-up. Cook something if you're hungry. Actually, you pour some oil first. What are you doing? Don't scream at me. You're no one to me. Do you understand? And you're no one to me. Are you all right? Nothing is all right. Your daughter has made a mess out of my kitchen. Please talk to your daughter about how you're going to fix this. All right, I'll talk to her. Don't panic. You'll talk to her? This issue needs to be solved radically. Let's discuss it at home tonight. I can't talk right now. Hmm. Problems again? Again and again. It will never end. Don't worry, it will end someday. Look happier at life. <sighs> I'm trying, but it isn't working. <laughs> Catch a candy. At least you'll sweeten your life a bit. Thank you. I'll sweeten it. This is my house. I bought it with my own money, and therefore I'm asking you to be respectful in my own house. If I ask for silence, there must be silence. I'm working. Do you understand me? What if I don't? If you don't understand, I'll have to take measures. I'm serious. Either you live normally... Or what? You'll kick me out? He won't let you. My father wants me here. This is my house too, right? Get lost. Give me my wallet. What wallet? The one you stole from me. I don't remember. Maybe you imagined it. You're such a little... Try looking at yourself.
Why aren't you going home? There's a lot of work. I won't leave until it's all done. What if you'll have to stay till morning? I'll do it then. I have to support you somehow. All right, best worker. Do you want me to get you some coffee? I do. Hold on a minute. Why isn't anything ready? There's nothing to eat. I'll call you as soon as it's ready. My dad wasn't lucky with my mother. She was a bad mistress. you like to come in? Uh, the fridge is empty, but I can offer you some coffee. Well, we had coffee earlier. As you wish. Thanks for giving me a ride. See you tomorrow. What happened here today? This is how it's always going to be now. What do you mean? You know that... I know she's at a difficult age and that her mother died. Why is that my problem? It's an affair of your youth. I don't see why I have to stay with her. Because you are my wife and I think you need to support me in this. You found a warm place. I have a suggestion. Your daughter used to live somewhere before this. Why don't you take her there to her apartment? Together. Because they used to rent a flat in the Moscow region. It wasn't their own place. Oh, so we're going to share this flat between the three of us? Wait, hold on. You want to split the apartment? Yes, I do. All right, let's do it. I'll deal with this. Don't you worry about it. You won't get less than half. Just hurry up. After all, I want to have my own baby and a safe place to live. Oh, God. Susha, do you mind if I interrupt you for a minute? We need to talk. Sonia and I are having big problems. Because of me? I'm asking you again, don't be rude to her. Or we'll have to separate and move out of here. And I don't want that, do you understand? I love her very much and she's very nervous now, easily ignited. We should try 
act and be neutral. Find a way to compromise. Besides, in the autumn, you're going to school. I've found a wonderful school for you, by the way. A wonderful school. There's a swimming pool there, they offer foreign languages, and there's great teachers as well. If we can make peace, maybe she won't divorce me. Well, it's not my fault. She makes me sick with her hysteria. Susha, nothing is ever that easy at first. You find common ground, somehow. Moreover, you have something to lose now. You've got a real family. Is that all? Well, yes, basically. I'm going to bed. going we're going to meet your future form mistress she'll she'll help you adapt to the class I'm happy daddy why aren't we going yet hold on we're going in a minute Sonia let me take you wherever you're going I'll manage on my own thank you Wash your war paint off. She's uncontrollable. She's a very bad girl. She says something on purpose and waits for me to react. She's torturing me. And the atmosphere in the flat is just horrible. I didn't think things would be so bad. That's not all. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Do you remember the girl who stole my wallet? Yeah, you bet I do. Well, that's her. Lesha's daughter. You're kidding. In short, it's all nonsense. That's terrible. What are you going to do about it? What's there to do? Move out. What else could I do? But you spent 10 years paying the loan for this apartment. It's a pity. But I pity myself more. <laughs> so, Sush has a nice flat, right? Yeah, all right. Let's have some beer, shall we? Right, let's go and buy some. <laughs> Everyone get out. What happened? No, you get out. Get out of here, I said, right now. Oh. Let's go. Or this she-goat will call the cops. Uh, we better get out of here. Oh. You thought you'd get away with this? Well, screw you. I don't know what to do. They can't live together. Really, they're always arguing. I don't want to be at home. Did you think it'd be easy being a father? I didn't think anything. My head was spinning. How come, I thought, a poor girl in the orphanage? 
I wanted to look decent. I don't know what to do. Well, actually, you don't have much choice now. You can't send her back. Gosha, Sareza, get in the center. I guess you're right. I don't even know why I started all this. You see, there's this thing, Lesha. When a baby comes, a good father stops living his own life. The life of a child becomes the most important thing to him. You can't live like you used to. Restaurants, bars, and burning the midnight oil. The child tests your ego. Take my word for it, Lesha. Did you think that bringing the girl home was the end of your mission? No. You have to do something with her, spend time with her. Teach her something, you have to raise her. You brought her clothes and think that's it? No. You don't belong to yourself now. As soon as you understand that, your life will start getting better. There's nothing to get better now. Sonia's moving out and having a baby. I can understand her, actually. What about you? Well, I guess I'll stay and enjoy my paternity. <sighs> All right, Father. Let's enjoy paternity. <laughs> Guys, let's play football. Gosha, Sereza, pass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, the area is 60 meters. Windows face both south and west. Um, 10 minutes walk to the subway. Great infrastructure. Banks, shops, and laundry. Look, there's a wonderful park nearby. Well, it's all great. But I'm afraid you won't be able to solve this issue quickly. I'm sorry, but getting two one-room flats for a two-room one is unreal. Uh, what other options do I have? The best option is two rooms in communal flats, in the suburbs, or even in the region. But that won't be quick. Who wants to move in together now? Everybody wants to move out. Did you think this would be easy? Oh my god. I didn't even notice how late it's gotten. Yeah, that's right. I just left home, and it's time to get back. And you don't want to? Frankly? No. I feel like I get more tired at home than I do at work. Perhaps you'll do a good thing then. Drive me home and waste some more time, maybe? Well, yeah. Wasting time next to you is pure pleasure. <laughs> Hold on. Who's going to clean that up? You. Me? Thanks for the ride. See you tomorrow. So you're not inviting me for coffee today? What's the point, Lesha? To just waste time? You'll manage it on your own, I'm sure.
Thank you, Katya. Thank you. You do not look well. You've lost weight, I guess. And your eyes are sunken. I'm tired. I've got a lot going on now. There's no vacation. Oh, no. Work is like a holiday to me. I'm just messed up. Mr. Sergovich, I need to go somewhere to fix my brains. Isn't there a work trip somewhere? I mean, I'm desperate. I'd really go anywhere, even to the Arctic. Ugh. There's no Arctic trip, but there is Siberia. You need to go and check out our Siberian branches. I was planning to send you next month, but if you want to go now, well... Uh... Yes, yes, I want to go. You can go now. Katya, we're sending Chernovsky on a trip to our Siberian branch. Thank you. Sonia, let's discuss it calmly. Let's sit at the table. What can I do after all? I have to go on a work trip. They're sending me. How long is your trip planned for? Ten days. How many? Ten days. Yeah, and I'll have to live with the... Uh... Your daughter all that time. I won't nurse you, no. I'm not asking you to nurse, Susha. Right. You'll just spend some time without me here. You'll be okay. I think you forgot what we agreed upon. I haven't forgotten. Just please be human. I am not going to take responsibility for her. I was hoping you'd understand. I'm tired of wasting my nerves on her. <sighs> Susha, I'm begging you, please don't torture Sonia. I'm not torturing her. I don't know. She comes to me and complains about you. I guess she has nothing else to do. Enough with this circus. I've told you already. Don't count on me. Sonia, what can I do? It's my job. You know that. I'll go on a trip for ten days, and then we'll split the apartment. After all, let's face it. I'm earning money for all of us, okay? Promise me you'll behave better. All right. If Sonia complains about you even once... All right, she won't. I hope so. But it's only for 10 days. The northbound train is approaching the station. Please stand back from the platform's edge and have your tickets ready with you. I repeat, the northbound train is approaching the station. Please stand back from the platform's edge and have your tickets ready with you. Please keep your luggage ready at all times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Ivan Sergeyevich told me to fly with you. He says we'll do it faster together. I hope that you're not against it. I'm not just for it. I'm happy. <laughs> Let's go then. Ten minutes to the train. So breakfast is ready. Susha. How is it? It's edible. But I like fried eggs and sausage for breakfast. All right, I'll make it tomorrow. Is there any cake left? Yeah, you're the only one who had some. Are you saying that I eat a lot? Uh, no. Don't look for a catch where there is none. The cake is in the fridge. Let's make a deal and don't quibble, all right? We have to live together for 10 more days. I wouldn't like to spend them in hell. If you want something, just ask. Okay. I don't know what you like, but I can't leave you hungry. Let's do this. You tell me what you want to eat, and I cook it. What do you want for dinner today? I need to think. Wait. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Oh! Pancakes with trout and blue cheese. All right. Uh, also... French-style meat. All right. And what else is there? Oh. Chocolate mousse. Is that the final choice? Yes, I want it all for dinner. All right, I'll make it all. But if you don't eat it, I won't let you order me anymore. 
We're going to have breakfast and then I'll go to the store. You'll clean the table and do the dishes. Deal? It's a deal. All right, we stir yolks with powdered sugar. Yes, and don't forget to add vanilla. Right, Anya, that is, we don't boil or bake anything. We eat chocolate mousse with raw eggs, is that right? Yes, basically, but I don't remember anybody getting poisoned. Anyway, your girl has quite a taste. I wonder what it will be tomorrow. A baked shark. <laughs> don't let her walk all over you. But it's only for 10 days. I hope to mellow her out. She won't last long, all right? Bye. Okay, bye. What's going on? Will dinner be ready today? Yes, I'm trying. What if I don't like what you'll cook? Well, that's not my problem. I'm cooking everything that you've ordered. I'm following the recipe. Hmm. Uh, what are we going to do after dinner? Maybe we could watch a movie. Sure, okay. Perhaps you'd like to help me watch the pancakes, for example? Mm -mm. Yes, come in. Oh, sorry. Um, are you ready to go to dinner? I'm ready. Phew, tastes like mold. It's blue cheese, like you ordered. Here's the French style meat. It's okay. But there's two little mayonnaise. My mom used to add more. Not the healthiest product, by the way. But I like it. And chips and bread, too. So what? Nothing. I hope you like the mousse. It's good. In short, the dinner is good. I don't know yet. I don't like your mold. And the meat is so-so. Why don't you eat the mold? Maybe you're trying to poison me with it. Go ahead, try some. Susha, I thought we agreed that we had an armistice. And now you're continuing your rudeness? I just said that I didn't like dinner. Then don't finish it. I made everything that you ordered. Stay hungry if you don't want it. I feel sick. Stop acting like an ape. I feel really bad, really. I've had enough of your antics.
What's this performance about? Susha, stop joking like this. Susha. Susha, what happened? I feel bad. Bad? What hurts? Where? I don't know. You poisoned me. Oh my god. Hello? Hello, ambulance? Come immediately, please. I don't know what to do now. I, I think this is because of the raw eggs. Oh God, why did I make that moose? Sonia, I've made the moose for my kids a hundred times. Don't get too nervous. It's something else. Oh, Anya, I'll call you back. Excuse me, a 14-year-old girl, Susha Danilenko, has been brought here. Did the doctor see her yet? Yes. No need to worry, everything will be just fine. Head of the department is on duty today. Here he is now. Sonia. You? What a surprise. I'm glad to see you. Are you a doctor? Yes. Well, as you can see, <laughs> I'm a surgeon here and I'm on duty today. And you're here uh, because... A 14-year-old girl, Susha Danilenko, was brought here. Did you see her yet? Yes, yes, Susha Danilenko. Uh, so this girl is your husband's daughter, right? Mm. Yes. Ah, well... Sonia, don't worry. She is already feeling much better. <sighs> we thought it was appendicitis, but it's not. <laughs> well, thank God for that. Yes, thank God. Sonia, I'd like to order some additional tests. All right. It doesn't seem to be poisoning either. What does it look like? It looks like possibly a pregnancy. This is all because of your dinner, of that mold. When dad comes back, I'll tell him everything. You know, the doctor says that it's not poisoning. Yeah, right. Susha, tell me, um, have you ever had a relationship? A relationship with a boy? Why do you care? This is very important. Well, yes, I have. Oh, my goodness. Why are you so worried? Are you afraid that Dad will be mad at you? No, that he'll be mad at you. This is not mold, Susha. This is most likely that you're pregnant. Here you go. The results? Oh, thank you. Danilenko Susha. Pregnancy term, 11 weeks. What do we do now? I don't know. Just don't tell Dad. Don't tell Dad? What do you mean? He's going to kill us. Us? I don't want a baby. It's painful. I won't give birth, you hear me? This feels like I'm on a vacation. I haven't felt this good in years. Me neither, because you're fantastic in bed. Excuse me. What should I do now? Yes. Hello. Hello. What's with your voice? Did something happen? We've got problems, Lesha. What problem? Your daughter is pregnant. The term is about three months. She's what? I don't know what to do, but the decision has to be made quickly before it's too late to change anything. All right, listen, I'll be back in three days. Don't make any decisions. Is that clear? And of course, yes. All right, fine. What happened? Nothing. Family joys. 
Let me kiss you again. It'll be fine. Not now. Should I leave? Stay if you want to. But I need to get some sleep. Tomorrow will be difficult. Well, then I can sleep in my own room. I'll go now. I don't see another way. We need an abortion as soon as possible. I agree with him. Hold on, Lesha. First of all, we need to understand the possible consequences. Sonia, my daughter is not going to be a mother at 14. Do you think this is the worst that can happen? We're not going to discuss it. There are no options. You told me the same thing once. Let's not start with that, please. Do you know what the future will bring for her? I'll tell you what's coming for her. School and university, and then family and kids if she wants to. Do you realize that she might not have children after that? Why wouldn't she have children? Well, just look at me. I don't see a connection. She's having an abortion and there's no point delaying it. I can do it tomorrow. I don't understand you. She's a little silly girl. By making such decisions, you can ruin her entire life. Sonia, don't intrude. She's my daughter and I'm going to decide what she will do. Okay? Good job, mother. You've raised your daughter well. Pregnancy at 14 years. We didn't come for a lecture. We want to know what to expect. What's to expect? Certainly nothing good. She's RH negative. It's her first pregnancy. Infertility afterwards is guaranteed. How? Just like that. Some people are lucky. They reproduce like cats even after abortions. And somebody else spends the rest of their lives asking God for a child. But why am I telling you? You won't understand anyway. It's your decision, but I would save the baby. I understand that giving birth at such a young age is very difficult, but it's better in my opinion than being childless forever. I believe you. If you still want to get an abortion, you can't delay. She's 11 weeks. You'll have to write a note confirming that you're aware of the consequences. It's your responsibility. We'll write it. Did you hear what the doctor said? Yes, I heard her. We're not going to sign anything. You have a father. Let him decide. understand. How could you? She'll never forgive you. Well, but you forgave me. Are you sure? There are many ways to have children. Really? How come we don't have children yet? Sonia, this is how things turned out. We'll have children, but not now. Let's deal with this first. You've already decided. Yes, I have. And it will be better, better for her. She's still a child. Her head is filled with stupid things. Sometimes I want to kill you. Very good. That means that you still love me. I couldn't do it. I changed my mind. I saw those big pliers. Can I not do it, please? I'm very afraid. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're both crazy now. A toddler is just what we need now. You're a clever girl. We'll raise this baby together. 
Susha, you need to give birth. My, my little girl will raise the baby. We didn't expect it to turn out like this at all. Mm -hmm. But because of my job, all our family has to move away for six months. Or even more. Mm -hmm, I understand. We'll prepare your documents immediately. Okay. You should have them by some time next Thank week. Thank you. Where are you moving, if I might ask? Uh... To Australia. Maybe for forever, perhaps. Goodbye. Thank you. All the best. Mm -hmm. All the best. Little girl, why are we crying so loud? Shh, 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 shh. Don't worry, it'll be all right. Does anything hurt? Oh, my little girl. Shh, 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 shh. Well, I wonder how long this bedlam will last with the baby. Huh? This is your granddaughter, you know. I didn't want her, and neither did Susha. And who has grandchildren at the age of 37? However, she's been born, and you have to get used to that. I'll never get used to it. And Susha doesn't care. Oh, and where is she? What did you think? That a teenager was going to nurse a baby? I warned you that nothing good would come of this. And now, we're paying. What would have changed? We were planning our own child. It would have cried like this. And there'd have been as many problems as with Masha. I wonder what will come out of this Masha, anyway. Another Susha? Stop it, will you? Hold this. Like that, good. All right now, we're quiet. You're going to feed her now. Me? Yes, you. I'm going shopping. To get more formula. Shush, 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 shush. My little girl, why are you crying? Mm. Here you go, here you go. Oh, no, no, good, 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 good. Mm. Mm. I'm so sick of all oh, be this. quiet. Why should I? She's screaming like torture oh. anyway. <laughs> Can't you hear that your baby is screaming? Why does the whole house have to be alarmed? What can I do? She screams anyway. This screaming will make me kill myself. I'll kill myself soon, too. Oh. Oh, hush, my little girl. Don't cry, my dear. You'll be okay soon. Lesha, can you wash the dishes? I'm exhausted. Have I been resting all this time? I don't ask you often for anything. Actually, I wanted to rest at home. Yep, keep dreaming. No rest for the wicked. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> Whose fault is it? Everything that's happened to us? 
is totally your fault. Moreover, it was your idea. So I'm the one who had a pregnant daughter? <laughs> you're, you're very good at pointing fingers. And now you're going to tell me that I've ruined your life, huh? Don't shout at her. Are you talking to me? Yes, I sure am. I'm sick of your behavior. I am your father, Susha. She's nobody to you. She actually cares about us. And you only whine. I took you from the orphanage. I brought you here. Now, think where you'd be without me, please. It's better in the orphanage than with you. You don't love anyone. <sighs> it's called doing good things to people. Thank you, daughter. He's gone, but that's all right. We'll live without him. You're not going to leave us. Can't you see that it's my turn? Are you sure? Of course I am. All right, sorry, I'm carrying milk for an infant. Just let me go first. Hello. Yes, hi, Olya. Hi. Tell me, please, are you... My wine. All right, which one? <laughs> You're jumpy. And nervous, too. What's up? I don't know what's going on with you. Can you tell me about it? Family problems, don't worry about it. Wife's picking at you? Yeah, something like that. I don't understand those wives. What else do you need? Mm-hmm. I mean, you've got a golden man. You should hold on to him. Please him. They're always unhappy with something. It's so hard for you sometimes. Mm hmm For men, I mean. Wouldn't you agree with me? Why don't you move to my place? Why do you have to run across the entire city? Moreover, you're the one who says that there's no life at home. And I'd love to please you here. Sonia, you could have called. I could have bought everything. What unexpected decency. Don't be sarcastic, please. You've decided to help us? Wonderful. But we need help with everything. I don't care where you spend your nights, but I'm tired of doing everything. Well, you wanted a child. Why are you complaining? Don't you want it? Were you lying to me? Do you want the truth? I was ready for a child, but only because you wanted it. I don't like children. I don't want them. Children are a burden to me. Do you understand? And you're a burden to us. Get out of our lives. Sonia. Sonia.
Oh, look, is it Lesha? Lesha! Oh, damn. Do you know them? Yes, they're my friends. We didn't notice you. Uh huh. Of course. Meet my colleague, Olya. These are Pasha and Anya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Colleague? Is it a corporate party? Anya. By the way, how's Sonia? Why isn't she with you? Or rather, why are you with someone else? Anya. Can I not ask how my friend is? Moreover, I would like to see the kids. How are they doing, Lesha? How has your little girl grown up? Uh, I guess Sonia didn't tell you. I don't live at home. That's nice. You left your wife with a whole lot of children and ran away. I wonder whether your colleague knows that you're already a grandfather. Anya, it's enough. All right, let's go already. Let's go, let's go. Lesha. Here we are. Come in. Thank, Thank you. you. Some wine, perhaps? Oh, he's such a bastard. No, I'll call Sonia. I'll tell her everything. Don't call anyone, Anya. I think Sonia knows about it. And Lesha's just lost. It all happened much too quickly for him. He's just relieving his stress. He'll have fun and then come back. He won't run away. How can you talk so calmly about it? He's a traitor. Sonia was right. He's been betraying her her entire life. I think it's great. What is? Being a grandfather at such a young age. Really? What did you name her? Masha. Masha. It's a beautiful name. Excuse me. I'll be back in a second. I need a powder in my nose. Mm -hmm. Let's go and tell him a couple of nice words. How will words. it help you? Hold on. Do you think it's normal? No, Anya, I don't think it's normal. Believe me, I realize everything. Why the hell are you doing this? Well, we won't understand each other. You were planning a big family from day one, right? You had those goals. I didn't have them. I lived comfortably for 16 years, and then everything changed in a single moment. First Susha, then the baby. This is a nut house. They're your blood. So what? What if I don't feel it? Lesha, what happened to you? You don't look like yourself at all. This is because my life has become unbearable. The child cries. Susha doesn't care. Sonia is nervous and mean. This is because you don't help her. I just can't look at her. She let herself go. She's running around with that baby. Lesha, you're not right here. She's your granddaughter. All right. Guys, listen, you can think I'm a coward, but this is my grounded decision. Let's go. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Perhaps such an age crisis? Although I think it's too early. What crisis? This man is just used to living for himself. And now he has to bear some responsibility, and he broke down. You're truly a heroic woman. You took care of someone else's kids. Oh, I'm shocked, this? too. At least we have Masha now. She's so pretty. She looks like you, by the way. Come on. I want to have my own child. They're strangers to me. Hello. Hello. I came to take my things. So, you're running away. I've heard about your life, girls, restaurants, and I have to nurse your daughter and granddaughter. I knew that you would start this same old song again. Wash your hands and take on the mask. Masha's a little ill and take off your shoes.
This is an act of a real man. What do you want from me? I'll be giving you money. The flat is all yours. Live here and have fun. But without me... I want a quiet life, do you understand? A comfortable life. Where someone will take care of me. Really? Yes. Believe me, such women exist. Hmm? It's all right, Masha. We'll manage. The most important thing is that I have you. How do you stop breastfeeding her long ago? I didn't breastfeed her. No, not me. I mean, it's a very long story. Anyway, the baby's been fed on formula since birth. We need to choose a proper formula. The one you gave her doesn't work. It gives her colicky pain. And her teeth are probably coming through too. Visit the local doctor on Monday. He'll prescribe you the formula. All right, but I need to calm her down somehow. She screams all the time. Can you hospitalize her? You mean with colicky pain? Well, I have to calm her down somehow. Well then. I'm afraid the pharmacies are already closed. The nearest open one is far away. I'll leave the drugs for you and write how to take them. On Monday, visit your local doctor at the polyclinic, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, doctor. Take it every four hours. You can skip it if she won't cry. Here. And monitor her temperature. All right. Thank you once again, doctor. What have you done? It was an accident. I was hungry. You only think about yourself. You're an egoist, just like your father. What are we going to do now? Oh, come on. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. I'm going to the pharmacy. I don't know when I'll be back. Don't take your eyes off her. Is that clear? Call me if something happens. decided to finish me? <laughs> no, it can't be. I think this is some kind of a tradition now. I'm very glad to see you too, Kostya. <sighs> well, where have you been hurrying to this time? To the pharmacy, urgently. My child is ill. To the pharmacy, I see. Well? This pharmacy doesn't have it either. Well, that's what I thought. I've just started searching for the nearest one. Thank you for taking care of me once again, Kostya. Well, you've picked up a habit of jumping under my car's wheels. I'm joking, Sonia. We'll find the nearest pharmacy and buy everything, okay? I'm tired. I don't know what to do. It's like I'm living someone else's life, and my husband has left us for his mistress. I don't sleep, and I walk like a zombie. But I think you still look wonderful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who gave birth? Susha. And the baby? Masha. Masha. That's great. This is the nearest one, round the clock on Krasnaya Presnia. That's where we're going.
Sonia, give me that paper. I'll Thank go and you. talk to my colleagues. Thank you. Have some rest now. Well, I'm not a pediatrician, but you've got a wonderful, healthy baby, as far as I can see. Well, you have to tolerate it until after all her teeth have come through. The rest is fine. Thank God she's all right. We'll manage the toothache somehow. All right. Well, ladies, I have to go. Would you like some tea? No, I need to be on duty tomorrow. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thank you for coming. Grow up well. Oh, Sonia, right. Here is my business card. If you need anything, call me, even if it's the middle of the night, really. All right, bye. Uh, I'll walk you. Oh, whoa, whoa. Thank you, Kostya. It's like God keeps sending you to me. Not at all. I guess I owe you. Tell me how much. Are you out of your mind? The important thing is that the baby is healthy. It just feels uncomfortable. Perhaps I can do something for you? Sonia, let's meet sometime when you have some free time. Please don't ask me that, Kostya. I got it. It was a stupid idea. Let's forget it. I, I don't date married men. I'm sorry. No, I was married. I'm divorced now. I'm just hoping that I'll be able to make you like me. I do like you. I just think that you perceive of me as a hysterical woman with a huge number of problems who jumps under the wheels. <laughs> I see, but if we meet, I'll have a chance to learn another side of you. I'll call you tomorrow, all right? All right. Thank you once again. Not at all. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm so tired. I've put Masha to sleep. Go to bed. It's morning already. Why go to bed? Sleep if you want. I don't. Sonia. I'm sorry for breaking the bottle with medicine. It wasn't on purpose. I'm not an egoist like my father. I just pity myself very much sometimes. You're going to leave us when you get divorced. I'm not leaving you. Don't make things up. Nothing bad will happen now. Therefore, stop pitying yourself. Why don't we make breakfast? We're not sleeping anyway. Can I ask you something? Sure. Don't you want to take Masha and me? Uh, adopt us, I mean. I understand that you're not my mother, of course. But you could have become Masha's mother. Although you don't need it. You want to have your own child. Well, I'll see what I can do to adopt you. I understand your situation. 
Maternity at the age of 14 is not easy. Of course, you can adopt the baby, but... You'll have to gather a huge number of documents. And the consent from your husband is obligatory. Well, there'll be no problems with that. Gather the documents, then. We'll review them. Susha! Hello. 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 Hi. I'm Sofia Igorevna, the wife of Susha's dad. And this is Masha, Susha's sister. She's so pretty. She's so, She's so cute. Wow. Do you want to come in? I've made an apple pie. No, thanks so much. We better take Susha to the cinema in the evening. Can we? Yes, sure. How's preparation for the exams going? Don't worry, Miss Igorevna. We've got everything under control. Mm. All right, we'll call you then. Mr. See ya. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Thank you for not exposing me. You're welcome. I've bought something for you. You can throw it away if you don't like it. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My Susha. <laughs> Miranov Konstantin Andreevich, Doctor of the Highest Order. Busy now. I'm buried in work. I'll call you back later, okay? Mm hmm. What does she want from you this time? I promised to do something for God. That's fine. She can wait. You don't have to rush to her the moment she calls. Boys, look what Auntie Sonia brought you. Hooray! All right. Here you go. Thank you, Aunt Sonia! Take the whole bowl. <laughs> All right, what is it? He never called back. Although he clearly wanted to meet. It's strange. Don't you want to call him? I called him. He's unavailable. And I thought that something could come out of it. Perhaps he's busy or lost your phone. Anya, do you even believe that? If a man wants to get through, he'll get through. <laughs> and you're in love, as I can see. I don't know. Come on, but you are. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Your hero will be found. How is it going with adoption? I can't seem to catch Lesha. He says he's very busy. And it's not moving without him. Oh. Hello. 
Hello, Sonia. Hello. This is unexpected. Why are you here? Well, uh, I've missed you. Oh, that's lovely. I can't understand. Are you mad at me? No, why? You helped us, and I'm grateful to you. You don't evoke other emotions in me. You're mad that I didn't call you, right? Sonia. Sonia, hold on, please. You see, I got into an accident that night. Here it is. My car crashed, and my phone did too, and I had your number there. At least I had the address. I came to you right after the hospital. I was sitting here, waiting to see you. I'm sorry. But that's really terrible. How do you feel now? No, don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. Susha, how are you doing? How's the baby? Not bad. We've already got three teeth. Wow. Go and have tea. I'll walk Masha on my own. Susha. Girls, how about I invite you to a cafe? Let's do it. Is it all right? Mm hmm <laughs> All right, let's go. I thought that you had changed your mind and decided not to call Why would me. I change my mind? Well, I don't know. And it's so terrible. How, how did it well, happen? Well, some moron jumped against the traffic lights. Congratulations, Mr. Chernovsky. I'm glad that you've decided to adopt your own daughter. Guardianship is good, of course. But it's morally easier for a child to understand that a dad is a dad, not a guardian. Thank you, Ms. Igorevna, for supporting your husband in his decision to adopt the two girls. Well, frankly speaking, it was my wife's idea. I just went along with it. Well, sounds good. Sonia, let me give you a ride to the subway no. station. Thank you. I can manage. Mm-hmm. You need anything else from me? No, you don't need to do anything. You can be free. After a time, mm -hmm. we'll apply for a divorce. I'll keep the girls. I hope you're not going to try to take them. No, I'm not. We don't need money, either. I earn quite a lot by translating. Allowance will be paid for the kids. All right, kids, but if you so. need anything, just ask. Let me at least give you a ride. Thanks. I have a ride already. Really? All right, bye, then. Did everything work out? Yes, everything's fine. Let's go now. Well, thank God. Ah! <laughs> What time is it, Basha? <laughs> Go over and help them. <laughs> Nika. Nika, Nika, bring the shuttle shot cock. cock. <laughs> Take it from Take him. Take it from him. Come here, Come here, Nika. Come here. Come, here. Come, Come on, my girl. Come on, my girl. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. Who's the big girl? Are you ready to go? Come here, my oh, girl. Good. Go, 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 go. Come here, baby. Like this, my Basha. Yeah, like this. Nika, come here. Nika, come here. You're a good girl. Give it to me, Go Nika. To your mom. Here she is. Come on. <laughs> Nika, come here. Come on, Nika. Give it to me. Good girl. Good girl. Good. 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 It's beautiful here. The house is very cozy. Do you like it? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. This is my family nest, so to speak. But there's no one to live here. How come? Well, Susha, a nest suggests a big family. My wife and I never had kids. The flat's enough for me. This place is actually empty most of the time. You need to have a family, then. Well, that's a great idea. Perhaps I'll get lucky. Susha, it's time for bed, I think. What are we going to do tomorrow? All right, tomorrow, we're going to have a barbecue. Oh. 
That's cool. Oh, that's cool? <laughs> Thank God. Is it Masha asleep? Yes, she's asleep. Everything's fine. Look what I found. Susha, it's not yours. Oh, come on. Look at these. What does it mean? That he went to war? It means that Kostya used to save lives. In flashpoint areas. You know what? You should marry him. What are you even saying? Can't you see how he looks at you? He's just a kind and good person. He's fallen for you hard. Why would he need us? He needs a family and his own kids. So then, you'd marry him if it weren't for me and Masha? Why are you looking for tricks where there are none? That's not what I mean. I have a husband, by the way, your father. He's a rubbish father and husband, but Kostya. Kostya is a good man. I hope he can create his own family. Will you sit with Masha? I'll make a salad. Mm hmm I heard that barbecue can be marinated in beer. It could be beer or kefir. The most important thing is good meat and good drinks with it. Do you like drinking? I adore drinking. Nothing except tomato juice. You don't drink, don't go for strolls, don't hit women, and you don't swear, is that right? Where have you learned such nasty things? Life experience. Ah. So what's wrong with you? I don't follow you. Why did your wife leave you? Why did she leave me? We stopped understanding each other, and I wanted children, and she didn't. You know, Sonia does want children. I know that. Then marry already. <laughs> Susha, it's not that simple. I see. It's all because of us, right? If it weren't for Masha and I, you would have married her. I'd marry Sonia in any scenario. It's not you and Masha. She just may not want to... to get married. But she does want it. Look at her. Look at how she looks at you. Propose to her. Don't be afraid. Just don't tell her that it was me. What would she do? Uh, deprive me of sweets. Do you know how tasty her pies and cakes are? You'd love them all. Really? Mm hmm Look, this last argument of yours finally persuaded me. What are you whispering about over there, partisans? I'm proposing you as a wife. I'm telling Kostya how cool you are. Kostya, don't listen to her, please. Her jokes are very awkward sometimes. Well, she may be joking, but I'm not joking. Sonia, will you marry me? Susha has... has already accepted. I don't understand it. No one has picked up the phone in two days. Mobile phones are unavailable. Look, perhaps your wife has some things to do. Or she may be on a stroll or something. What stroll, huh? She has two kids. I know women. You just need to give them a reason to forget. And they soon will. Moreover, you were the one who said that she found someone. What are you even saying? Who did she find? You know nothing. Okay. I'm going there. I'm not in the mood for this. But what about me? We were going to the club. So go without me then. Actually, do everything without me. You're a big girl now. I thought you loved me. I thought you would propose. Are you still slobbering over Sonia? Let's not say stupid things. I'm worried about my children. You weren't worried before. Huh. You know what? This is my life. Just mind your own business.
Thank you. Kostya, will you have dinner with us? That's not necessary. You must be tired. Why? Quite the opposite. We're well rested. Oh, you're so funny. Why don't you be less formal? That's a great idea. All right, I'll put Masha to sleep. After your proposal, you're bound to have dinner with us. Well, in this case, consider me persuaded. I'm going to burst into tears of tenderness. This is how my wife, mother of two, is spending her time now. What happened to you, Lesha? Has your mistress kicked you out already? How could you, Sonia? How could you just turn off your phone and disappear? I thought something had happened to the kids. The kids are all right. You can go back to your girlfriend, Lesha. I thought you were a saint, but you... It hasn't been a month, and you found a man. And here is the breadwinning father. The man who was in a rush with the milk to Olia. Hush! Hush! Hush, 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 hush. I'm all right. I'm all right. Let's go, Kostya. Let's just go. Please, let's just go. We've exchanged a couple of nice words. Let's go. Are you okay? Kostya, you're bleeding. Yeah, it's nothing. I'll take the children from you and split the apartment. Let's go. Let's go, Kostya. Does it hurt much? Mm-hmm. Sonia. Sonia, it's all or nothing. But you haven't answered me yet. I just don't know what to do next. I need you very much, Sonia. Very much. Tell me if you need me too. Is that a yes? Sleeping? All right, let her sleep. Sonia's coming. What are you going to do if the doctor says there are three kids or more? What would we do, Susha? Give birth, raise them, and love them. And me and Masha? We'll be raising you with double effort. You're our first kids. Well, what happened? Well... Well, tell us already. It's a boy and a girl, they think. <laughs> uh -huh. This is without IVF? Right. Are you happy, Sonia? Yes. Ooh, even the doctors can't believe it. It's a miracle. Well, you didn't believe me, Sonia. I told you we had twins in our family. I guess happiness comes when you least expect it. 